Introducing the Twinkling Fantasy event. This event goes down on January 10th at 8 a.m. and ends on January 16th at 10 p.m. And it brings the debut of Mega Salamence in Pokemon Go. Dude, I've been waiting for this. Easily one of the best Megas. It's so gosh darn cool. And it's also incredibly useful. Mega Salamence is literally like a top two or three dragon type Pokemon that we'll ever have in this game, which is so useful. You do not want to miss this. That's going to be so awesome. I can't wait. Event bonuses. Double XP for catching Pokemon with nice, great, and excellent throws. Additional candy for throwing nice, great, or excellent throws. And an increased chance to get XL candies when you're using nice throws, great throws, excellent throws, all that. These are some of the best wild spawns we've ever had at an event, and I mean that. Wild encounters include Clefairy, Clefable, Jigglypuff, Dratini, Togetek, Meryl, Rouse, Vibrava, Bagon, Dino, Dedenne, Gumi, and Noibat. This is an all-out dragon event, dude. We got everything going on here. Here. Dratini, Bagon, Dino, Noibat, all shiny eligible, all super useful. Gumi, can't forget about Gumi. These are amazing spawns, bro. I am incredibly juiced. It's gonna be a collection challenge where you can get 50 Salamence Mega Energy, a charge TM, and a fast TM. Okay, it's free, so I'm not mad. Field research tasks Kalfari, Dratini, Bagon, the Denny, and Gumi. Field research kind of whack. I mean, I love Dratini and Bagon. I'm big fans of that, but nothing too crazy. I guess Gumi for the future. Raids are actually amazing. Like, seriously. One star raids Jigglypuff, Meryl, Aksu, and Dino. Bro, if you need a good Aksu, and Dino, like me, go raid them. You're gonna get some good IV floors there, and they're both shiny eligible. Three star raids, Mowl and Drudagon and Dedenny. Oh, wait, what? Wait, Dedenny shiny? Is that real? I didn't see that earlier. I didn't notice that earlier. Just now realizing that literally mid recording. Uh, wow, my bad. Go for Dedenny in the field research encounters and the wild spawns. I had no idea. What does Dedenny shiny even look like? I have no idea. Dedenny is, oh, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's okay. Well, that makes this event even better. That's crazy. I actually had no idea. And then in five star raids, my boy Zekrom is back. One of the most useful Pokemon in this gosh darn game. Get yourselves a good one and it's shiny eligible. And in Mega Raids, Mega Salamence. This is easily going to be one of the best events of the entire year. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is kind of one of the best events we've ever had ever. Like this is really good in terms of meta relevancy. Dragon type Pokemon are some of the most useful Pokemon ever. So Zekrom's going to be in raids from January 10th to the 18th. So you got about a little bit over a week and it's going to have an exclusive move, Fusion Bolt, which is going to do 90 damage in trainer battles and 140 damage in gyms and raids. Like I said, go get a Zekrom. It's good. That's it for the Twinkling Fantasy event, but bro, this is actually incredible. If you need Dragon or Fairy type Pokemon, this is your event. Go get those Axus, Dinos, Goomies, Dratinis, Bagons, all the above. Zekroms, oh my gosh. And I also have some more good news for you. January Community Day Classic is Larvitar, bro. It's coming back for the first time in four years? Five years? It's been a forever, dude. It's going down Saturday, January 1st from 2 to 5 p.m. Insanely relevant. We'll talk about that. Featured attack on Tyranitar is the fast move smackdown, an absolute must. It's so good for Tyranitar. As usual, you can play $1 for a special research that gets you some amazing rewards. Good IV floor, Larvitar encounters. I highly recommend that. Event bonuses, triple XP for catching Pokemon. Lure module is going to last three hours. Incense is going to last three hours, and you can take some snapshots for encounters. And I have to say this. I don't know if they'll ever do another Community Day Classic. I mean, if this game is alive in five years, then sure, but you have to take advantage of this. Tyranitar is one of the best and most useful Pokemon in this game hands down and when the mega comes out it is going to be arguably like top three useful pokemon it's gonna be i think number one rock type i think number one dark type as well like it's crazy good you do i can't emphasize it anymore some amazing pokemon go news today i cannot wait 2021 is off to an amazing start let's go